Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another video. I'm so happy you've joined me today because I have got possibly the biggest H&M haul I think I've ever done. <laughs> it is full of autumn goodies, cosy things, I've got checks, I've got trousers, I've got sweater vests, I've got all these good autumn things. So hopefully you are excited for the video. If you are, please do give it a big old thumbs up. And without further ado, let me show you what I picked up. So I know you guys find it useful to know I'm five foot six, I typically wear a UK size small or a size eight. Depending on the retailer, most of the pieces today are a size 8 or a small. I will link everything in the description box below. Grab yourself a cup of tea, a couple of biscuits, make yourself cosy, and let's get autumn vibes going. The first thing that I have picked up is something I kind of can't believe I don't own already. I didn't jump on the trends straight away, but I have finally picked up a denim midi skirt. So this one I thought was just beautiful because it has a really lovely slit at the front here. It feels like a softer version of ones that I've seen. I've seen a couple of these before that are quite rigid and quite fitted and skin tight and just quite stiff. That's not really the kind of thing I want to go for, but this one I think is just really classic, really classy, chic, comfortable, and yeah, I just think this one's probably one of the best ones I've seen, which is why I got it. So I did get it in a size eight, and yeah, I'm excited to style this. I do need to get a pair of um, long boots for the autumn, and yeah, I'm still looking for a pair of those. They would look amazing with this. Something that I'm probably going to pair with it though is this sleeveless knitted vest. So this one is a size small and I like it because it's open. It's almost like a tabard, but it's not. It is still a vest, but you might want to wear something underneath like a little crop top or even a plain vest like I'm wearing here underneath just to give you a bit more comfort. But I think that paired with the midi skirt would look lovely. This one is a really nice, almost kind of a speckled beige. It is a marl. It is really, really lovely quality. And I just love the kind of the ribbed finish on the sleeves and the neckline as well. And I think it's going to be a nice length too. So not too cropped, but also not too oversized. Now I picked up this pair of trousers as well, because I haven't really seen any trousers in this kind of colour before because it's a dark grey but it's almost got a hint of navy to it as well so it's a really lovely cool toned darker pair of trousers but that aren't black so I kind of wanted to get them as a bit of a challenge to see how I could style them up. I love finding different things for my wardrobe. I really, really love wearing a pair of tailored trousers this time of year and pretty much all year, to be honest with you. But I wanted to get something slightly different and mix it up a bit, so I have found these ones. These ones aren't wide leg. They are more of a straight leg, so they do go in ever so slightly. They do have pockets, they've got belt loops, and yeah, they're just a really different colour that I wanted to give a go. Okay, let's get cosy with this gorgeous jumper. I saw this on the model and I was just like, I just need it. I also do have it in another colour as well coming up, so I really couldn't resist. I do love a v-neck. This one is a size small, and as you can see, it does look quite oversized. It looks quite big, so I would say if you want an oversized fit, just stay true to size. If you do want a slightly tighter, more true to size fit, size down because this one is definitely a bit chunky. Now I went for this lovely cream colour because I just wear so much cream and beige and kind of browns this time of year and I just thought this was just perfect. It is the same jumper in the black. <laughs> so I went for the cream and I also went for the black just because I think they are such good wardrobe staples. Now I must say these jumpers don't feel the best quality. They are very affordable, which is probably why they feel a little bit less expensive. 
These ones I would say watch in the wash because they might start to bubble after a few washes. But I just thought, you know, we are still in hard times and it is nice to know that you can get gorgeous fashion at more affordable prices, which is why I want to share it with you guys. But I don't think this is something that's going to be lasting in your wardrobe for years and years to come. These are a slight risk, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but it is leather legging slash faux leather legging season soon. So I saw these ones on H&M. I want to update mine. I do have a couple pairs. I actually love wearing faux leather trousers, but I wanted to get these leggings. These are apparently four-way stretch leggings. They are, as I say, faux leather, but they're lovely because they don't have the really disgusting fish smell, which some do. They are buttery soft. They feel very, very comfy. They do have this kind of seam detail running down the front. They don't have pockets. Leather leggings don't tend to have pockets but they are a little bit stretchy, which I love. I haven't actually tried them on, but I can feel the stretch in them. So hopefully in the cutaways, you will see that these look better on if I can get them across my backside. The next piece is a really lovely jumper that I do not need because I have so many knitted striped jumpers and tops in my wardrobe, but I just couldn't resist. There is something about these style of jumpers that just pulls me towards them. This one is a size small and it is a wool jumper. So the price point on this is slightly higher than some of the other pieces, but the quality is so much better. I love the fact the sleeves are really, really wide. They also have this slit on them, which I think is just so chic. I love the neckline. I love the fact it's not super tight around the neck. There is gonna be a little bit of room there, which is great. I find these jumpers so nice when you're wearing your hair up in a bun, on those days where you just want to be really cozy and comfy and just wanna chuck on a jumper of a jumper and leggings, this kind of jumper is just perfect for that. Now, this is something I have been so looking forward to receiving, and it is this gorgeous houndstooth check print blazer in a size small, in this gorgeous brownie autumnal tone. I love this. It is ever so slightly oversized, so I did go true to size with the small. I definitely probably could have sized down to an extra small. I wouldn't recommend sizing up because it's going to be big enough anyway. It's a single breasted blazer and the colors are so beautiful. I am going to be definitely keeping this and definitely wearing it all autumn. I can just tell. It is just absolutely beautiful. So as you know, I love a knit, I love a jumper. I wanted to pick up something slightly different and I've picked up this off the shoulder, black knitted jumper in a size small again. So it has this kind of fold here. Obviously it's going to look so much better when it's on me rather than on the hanger because it doesn't really look like much, does it? It does come in different colors as well. I have seen a couple online still available, but I just really like how this just is a bit different is not something I would normally go for but it would be nice for kind of date night for drinks with your friends and just for those evenings where you don't really really want to dress up but you want to do more of a kind of dressy casual look I think this would be perfect I did get another cream jumper <laughs> I did pick up this one which is a basic cream knit I have actually got this jumper for I think the last couple of years in different colours. This one I do size up to a medium because it is slightly on the smaller side and when you wash it, it does tend to shrink a tiny bit. This one also does go slightly bobbly when you wash it too. So please do bear that in mind for the price. Um, I think it's, you know, it's a really easy go-to piece for the autumn and I also did pick it up in a grey colour as well because these are just the kind of basics that I wear on repeat when I'm at home, when I'm kind of running errands, when I want to be comfy and cosy, I don't want to put too much effort into my outfit, I pop on a jumper, maybe with a pair of leather leggings, put on some gold jewellery and I'm good to go. And the last thing I picked up is actually a cord, but you can buy them separately. So let's start with the cardigan. This feels oh, so dreamy and soft. 
the quality of this is gorgeous. This is something that will last for a long time in your wardrobe. I sized up to a medium in this cardigan just because I like the kind of slouchy, oversized fit of these kind of things, like loungewear pieces. I definitely could have sized down for a more fitted look if I wanted that. I would probably wear a little vest or something underneath this when I'm wearing it as loungewear or wear it as separate out and about too. So I love, love, love this cardigan. And then the trousers are super long, wide leg, slightly kind of flared at the bottom. Trousers, they are knitted, they have this gorgeous ribbed elasticated waistband, so you can pop it on to fit you. I went for a small in the trousers, so I've gone small in the trousers, medium in the cardigan, and it is just, they are just so, so beautiful. Perfect for lounging around the house, perfect for Sundays where you just want to be cosy and bake and do all those lovely things and watch films. These are just gonna be perfect. And that's everything that I picked up this month from H&M. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which was your favourite piece from today's haul. I'm looking and I think it's probably going to be the blazer. I just think it's so beautiful. I'm such a sucker for a blazer this time of year. Please do give the video a big old thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button for new videos from me every single week. And I'll see you really, really soon for the next one.